Hello everybody. Today I'm going to, um, this is going to be a quick video. We've been talking in one of the Facebook groups I'm in about uh, craft organization and storage and revamping your craft room to make things more streamlined. And I just wanted to show a couple of things that, um, that I do to help me stay semi-organized. Um, there's still a lot that I'm working on. And even though I've only been doing this for a couple of years, as opposed to some women who have been doing this for a lot longer than me, um, I still feel like I'm way out of my depth. So uh, um, these are a couple, I'm going to show you a couple ways that I, I organize. Okay, and I forgot one thing, so let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this was actually on one of my videos that I did. I made this and uh, I got the inspiration. Sorry, kind of womp or jog ya. I got the inspiration from uh, something my dad owned and it was a greeting card. Ugh. It was a greeting card um, organizer which I believe is this. Yeah, this is what it originally was. Um, it's a greeting card book. And I thought how, you know, clever. And in here they had January and, you know, different greeting cards in it and the different months and things like that that you could organize, you know. And they even have an address book in the back. I thought that's a great idea. And I love this. But right now, because of the way my organizational skills are still evolving, um, I'm not doing greeting cards at the moment. I love doing them. And when I first started crafting, that's what I got into. But I never thought I was good enough to continue. And I've watched so many beautiful and crafted, uh, talented, that's the word. Uh, women do theirs and, okay, uh, I'm just not at that level yet, but I'm working on it. Anyway, so I made my own and this isn't for greeting cards though. This is for graphics. Um, this was a, a file folder from a set I got, I believe it Tuesday mornings. And, uh, I just, I cut it up with my, with my paper cutter and fitted it, fitted it. Wow, my words are really crazy. And fit it to some, uh, chipboard. And then I had some old, um, what do you call it? Uh, manila file folders, right? That, uh that I did, but then I categorize it. The other one's got like January and then dates, you know, this is Christmas, winter, steampunk. I haven't used this yet. Um, <clears throat> vintage people, you know, just little things like sentiments and words. I put some in there, architecture, and I just, you know, and you can put as many in here as you want. Um, you know, you can detail it, but it was, it was fairly simple and it was something that, uh, that I actually really enjoyed making. I haven't used this yet because I'm still working on my organizational skills, but when I get up and done, that's what it's going to be. And I used, uh, these binder clips or not binder clips. Oh, hell, I don't know what they're called. Anyways, these things. There's a word for them and I'm having a brain fart. But anyways, so when I finish getting, because I've got like six or seven shoe boxes full of different kinds of graphics and I want to be able to organize them separately. Um, so that's what I'm doing there. Now, another problem with um, organization that I was finding was um, how do I store all my stencils? A three ring binder. All right, I even got groovy plate stuff. 
All right, so I've got stencils in these. You can't see them, but you know, and I haven't finished going through and organizing all of these yet. Which I will, and I do have a lot of them in here. And even some of the stuff that I made myself with my glue gun. It's not much, but when you're working with mixed media and stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know? And uh, so I just made a bunch just to throw on a piece of paper and... Um, you know, use, like I made one with a bunch of circles. Let me get a piece of paper so you can see that. Ah, that'll work. Okay. And you saw that one, and then I made a smaller one. But, yeah, so I keep my stencils, a lot of them in here. I haven't completely put everything in here yet yeah, and see I'll even put little notes on the outside this one like this one right here it's really it's a pretty delicate one it's from the crafters workshop and I love it but um, does not hold up well to texture paste so I'll put little notes on them and things like that and then I've got some cut your own stencils and uh, you know, little things. So that's how I do, this is how I do my stencils. Um, even little ones. So, and when I get, here's some more that I did with my glue gun. And once I get them all in the same spot, and then I'll organize them in the um, binder according to, you know, probably theme or uh, subject or whatever. See, here's one. It's a curly cue. <clears throat> and uh, somebody else had sent me, uh, they have a... I don't know if it's cry cut or a brother's cut and scan or scan and cut. I don't know. But they sent me their negatives, you know, after they cut theirs out. And those make wonderful stencils as well. And I've got some Tim Holtz. And I mean, I've got quite a bit uh, as far as in my book already, which is... Um, it seriously is a big, a big help, you know, and I'm almost even out of thingies. And I have no idea why this is empty in there. So this is going to go in the trash. But, and then, you know, there are some stencils that are just are smaller. Alrighty, these are texture plates. I don't know if you could see those or not. Um, I got these to put, um, to use in my jelly plate. I got big ones, little ones, and I've got some more that I put back here. You know, just little different sizes, different styles. <laughs> makes great texture with your jelly plate. I don't have anything to put those in yet. See, these are the ones I use the most, so they're out a lot more. But I haven't put these in here yet. And then there's some, you may not have the space for this, but you can also get a little album or a little binder and put your stencils in. Yeah, and see, here's some more. And I just haven't put these away yet. 
every so often you'll find something that comes like this one's 38 there's a different designs in here and it's three pieces and I loved the style of uh, lettering on the stencils for this one no pieces oops I'm I I got a new camera mount, so I'm trying to get used to, you know, the camera being the right way instead of turning everything upside down so you can, <laughs> so y'all can see it. But, uh, but yeah, so there's a lot that I'm still putting together. And I get a lot of um, stencils from AliExpress. Yeah, and I just, I haven't put, oh, here's another one of my glue gun ones. My number ones. Yeah, so, but yeah, the best way I've found so far is um, putting it all in a, a a three ring binder now again there are some stencils that you buy that do not fit unless you cut them down and some you can if they're like a repetitive pattern they can but there's some like this I got this also from the crafters workshop I love this I love this design but the way it's set up there's no way I can make it smaller to fit in and I did it again. I turned it right side up or upside down. Um, this is a Bowser design, 12 by 12 stencil. I don't, I do not see this style. It's called Art Deco Leaves. <clears throat> and uh, I do absolutely love this. But I, I you know, I'm not going to cut that up to fit it in a notebook. And then this one I got recently at Tuesday Mornings. It's from Americana, and this one's called Timeless Treasures. And I love it with the clock, and I haven't taken out the, the paper on it yet, but, you know, anyway. That's what the... Yeah, and I got it for a whole dollar ninety nine, So it's not bad. So there are some exceptions to the rule, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put this over side. I really need to put these up, so I'm not, I'm not going to put this away yet. All right, so that's one. The stencils, <clears throat> graphics. Now, this one, I love making ATCs. I really do. And when people send them to me, I absolutely adore them. I've got a whole... Um, like plastic tote with ATCs that I still have to put in here. Like I said, I'm organizing. My whole thing is wanting to get everything of like, you know, like with like and put it all together and then take that whole bisque basket of, you know, like we'll say for instance, ATCs, that whole basket of ATCs and then sit down one day while I'm watching TV and just, you know, put them away. But when people send me um, pocket letters, you know, things like that, uh, I'll take, sometimes if I use the, what's in them, I'll take out, you know, what they send me because that's what it's for. You know, they send you little goodies, little things to make you smile, little pieces of their art to treat with. Anyways, I'm not going to dig that out right at the moment. But yeah, see, like back here, there's little confetti and, and, <sighs> But when people make pocket letters, they usually send them in, you know, they call this, it's like a baseball card um, holder. And there's nine pieces, nine openings in it, perfect size for a pocket letter. And I got a really good deal at Amazon. I've been giving these away just to make room. Um, but I got a really, really good deal on Amazon one day. And I believe I got like... 500 of these for like eight bucks. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's why there's a lot more there. 
but people will send me their pocket letters or like my granddaughter and I uh, sat the video one day and we made our own, you know, ATCs. This was for a challenge I did for Marta over at Maramay's Small Cafe. Um, you know, it was doing an ATC, one for the alphabet. And then, you know, there are some that I made. And then a lot of these other people have sent me. So, but like this one, I absolutely love this one. Selena Rader sent this to me and I love the paper that she sent. I used a lot of the paper that she sent me in, uh, uh, in my very, very first themed journal, my Halloween journal. Um, and I showcased that on one of my very earlier videos. So, but this is how I store my pocket letters and um, whoever sends me my ATCs. And I also store the envelopes that I mail my pocket letters in. I don't even know what size these are, but I got these at a, at a garage sale or at the Goodwill or something. And uh, I keep those in there and I keep some in the back. But they're the perfect size to fold up your pocket letter in thirds and then pop them in the mail. So you can do pocket letters and, and APCs in this one. And this was a, yeah, it was a pretty big one. So that's that. Uh, okay. This one's empty, so I don't even know why it's up there right now. All right, another one of my earlier videos. And if I'd have thought about this when I first started, I would have, um, made all these clear, but I didn't. Um, I do have a video about die cut, or die storage. Okay. Now what I did was, there we go. Okay. This is, I don't even have an unused one at the moment because I've used all mine up. Okay. This together, was one of those clear plastic envelopes that you get from like the Dollar Tree. You get like three for a dollar. And I cut it in half and then just use tape, honestly, just to tape the insides closed. And it already came with this. I cut some, actually had some cardboard, uh, like from cereal boxes, that type of thing. Put a slice, a piece of magnet on it you know, cut it to size, and that's how I store my dies. And you can do both sides if you want. I, right now I only did one because I don't have very many dies. But honestly, it holds a lot. You know, and you can do it by theme. But, you know, and see, there's some I haven't even put away yet. I just got some just over the holidays for, for Halloween. Yeah, I haven't even put these away yet. I believe I've got one or two extra. But, yeah, I think I've got a couple of empties. And I'm not sure. Yeah, I do. Yeah, good. And I've got the cardboard and the magnet. But look how much space this saves. And they're on sheets of magnet. So you don't even have to worry about everything falling out. And they've got the little lip for those little pieces. But yeah, this was, and then I just stuck it in a, and like I said, I haven't put them all away yet. I'm just trying to get them all together. And that's another thing I find myself. I'm not saying for anybody else because uh, I know how I am. See, and I've got sheets of magnet. Oh, that's trash. I can throw that out. Um, I'm lazy. 
and I'll get it, I'll get something in the mail or I'll pick it up at the store and think, yeah, I'll put that away later. And I'll just put the box or the bag on my desk. And then a couple days go by and I'll get something else in the mail and I think, yeah, I'll put that away later. <laughs> and then that bag or box goes on my desk. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. And then I end up having, you know, so many boxes or when I'm crafting, I'll think like this is um, leftover from using one of my dies. And I thought that would look great as a as a fence post, like in a shadow box type area, you know, and a shadow type style. And I haven't used it. So I just set it aside, didn't put it with my other die cuts. The same with this. I love using the leftover pieces after you um and I have. You can see I've sprayed. I've used Glimmer Mist. Um, my alcohol sprays. Things like that. And they're perfect. I just haven't put them away yet. And then I got, like I ordered a bunch from AliExpress. And I was like, there's like six or seven of them, of these little packages in one bag. And I'm like, yeah, I'll put those away later. <laughs> and then, you know, later just tends to build up and build up and build up. But yeah, so all of these dies, they're kept flat, they're on a magnet, they're kept safe and protected in the uh, envelope, and all it took was one shoebox, and it doesn't even have to be a shoebox as big as the one I've got, you know, because you can tailor the size of the envelopes to your, um, to your needs. And I've got some of these uh, die cuts. I don't even know what they're called. So I found, I think this is called an L plate. Oh, it's a base tray. Uh, and then there's this one that's got hearts and, uh, but yeah, so I haven't put them all away yet. But, yeah, you can see I still have some to go that I have not put away. There we go. I'm going to put my empties right there. The ones I haven't put away yet right there. And extra magnet pieces little pieces I've used to cut out, you know, scraps left over from when I'm working with my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Oh, and I can also keep that in there and this in here, which is my, you know, the thing that you use to roll out your dies and get all little bits and bobs out of them. So anyways, there's probably about 300 dies here all together so far. And, you know, it's in one little shoebox. So that worked out great for me. Okay, that was one idea of storage. Now this idea I got on, on the web somewhere and I do not remember where. So I apologize. Uh... This idea was perfect. This lady said she had started a bunch of projects, right? Didn't quite know what to do with them. And, but they were like here and there and piled in boxes and piled in whatever. Oh, let's see. So she got this idea and found these, um, they're nylon, okay? They're nylon envelopes with a zipper pocket. And she puts each of her projects in here. Like this one I've got, Alice in Wonderland. I started a pocket letter um, that I absolutely adore. And I haven't, you know, put it away or done anything with it yet. I just haven't finished. So because I haven't finished, I put it all in one envelope because this is one, you know, one project. And then I put some stretchy, stretchy stuff on it and a removable little tag that I just tied on it. It says Alice in Wonderland. 
So that's that. This one is all my glue book stuff. I've been working on my very first glue book. And, you know, sometimes you get in the mood. Sometimes you're not in the mood. But instead of trying to dig through all kinds of stuff, I've got it all in one envelope. So, and a tag that says glue book. I don't know what those are doing in there. Screen protector. Okay, this is baby wipes and paper towels. When I use them and they dry, uh, one of my things that I do, and I've done a video on this, is I make um, baby wipe flowers and paper towel flowers because after they dry, I mean, why would you throw all that yummy goodness away? That's so pretty. And you cut them out. That one's not even got a bunch of color on it. That's paper towel. Here's a baby wipe. You know, you cut them out in circles. I've also got a video on that. Look at the colors on that. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. The pretty purples. Um, let's see. This one's really pretty. And I was using one of my, in fact, I was using one of my, uh, my glue gun stencils, the ones I made of my own. And it ended up, let's see, you can see the design on it. But yeah, these tend to build up after a while. And if you're not using them like me, I should probably sit down in an afternoon and just make a whole bunch of baby white flowers. Um... You know, but what this is, is I put it in an envelope. It says baby wipes and paper towels. And it's all in one spot. This is graphics I got. Uh, uncut graphics. Um, I like keeping some of my church bulletins. Because there was something I was going to do. Yeah, church flyers. There's something I was going to do with all of them because some of them, some of the pictures on them are absolutely beautiful. You know, like I will make a covenant of peace with them. Uh, Mother's heart is a garden of love. You know, so I mean, some of these are just absolutely beautiful. And uh, I started making a, what I call a praise journal. It was like when I first started and I like bit off too much more than I could chew. This one is uh, calendar projects. These are just uh, calendars that I came across that I really liked, you know, the design and don't know what to do with them. Like this one, this is, I did it again, upside down, where love grows. This is from 2014, but I love these graphics. Look at that. I mean, I just, and what I'm thinking I want to do is I want to run the graphics like through the copy machine and then I can size them bigger or smaller if I want, but I love that. Sorry if there's a glare. Anyway, um, and I just haven't done anything and I've got some other, you know, little things in here that, <sighs> But these are all the projects that I haven't finished or gotten around to or, you know, wanted to start and haven't. And they all fit in this one little wicker basket. Now, I believe these are called uh, Wallach's um, envelopes. If I remember, I will try to uh, link that in the description. For the, for the envelopes and you get like 10 or 12 of them I think for maybe 10 bucks I don't remember it's been a little while since I've got them but I keep it on my um, my favorites list in my Amazon account so I, at least I know right where it's at so I can link it but yeah so that you know saved me a whole lot of uh, problems and organization like I found another calendar I put right next to it and I just haven't put it away so let's just tuck that in there and we'll put it up I believe uh, I believe that's it for now um I've got you know the other typical storage 
things, you know, like an accordion folder and, and stuff like that. But other than that, those are some of the craft ideas that I have. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I believe that was just five. I guess I should have looked at that a little bit better, huh? Anyways, but thank you for watching. I hope the information I gave you helps. I hope it gives you inspiration. And um, I hope it helps you in your daily uh, craft, craft exploration, I guess. There's a lot of Asians in that. So on that note, thank you. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like me. Subscribe if you're not you know, if you're not already. And uh, always remember, find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. All right. See you next time. Bye.